in form at the moment, Cole. But Van Hobble. It's Van Hastel. Who might well do all the motivation through defence and midfield, the captain of Feyenoord. Graf not making a lot of progress, almost got it through to Botink. Ostfeldt, and here's Van Hobbel again, at that time of course, at Southampton before he joined, uh, or rejoined uh, Feyenoord. Up towards Cruz. That's the young Argentinian that uh, was suspended for the first game. He's in the Argentine World Cup squad. 23 years old. Well, there's a saying, isn't it? If you don't buy a ticket, you don't win the raffle, and certainly Cruz then. A little bit of luck on the first touch when the ball was played in from Van Hobbel, but uh, showed a willingness to shoot. I'm a little bit surprised, actually, on the evidence of what happened at Old Trafford, that they haven't put uh, the other big striker in. Ross. Ross. And he looked a threat when he came on, albeit for the last ten minutes. That's a good kick. Oh, by Beckham. with the free kick for Fire Nord. Cruz, Kornev, and Postfelter there. As well there to Van Hobel from Boteng. He looks lively. Kornev. Straight up. Kofi Schmeichel from Von Brockhorst. Well, that was a good chance, some great footwork there from Kornev. Lays a little ball into uh, Van Brockers. Toe poke. Can't really get, uh, can't really get a foot of power on the shot. over the years Gary's knees but uh, they're okay it's a free kick which Peter Schmeichel will take Andy Cole was pointing out to the right towards Beckham which is exactly where Schmeichel put it Sheringham shot right across that goal just th did the keeper get a touch I thought it, was a, he did it was a terrific shot by Sheringham from that sort of position, yes, got a very important touch indeed. That'll go down as an excellent save, wouldn't it? That? Yeah, not half. I must admit, my first reaction to, for Sheringham was to play it across the face for Cole. He's desperately unlucky not to put them in the lead there. Beckham with the corner. Graf gets it away. Irwin tries to keep it going. Is Beckham. Oh, a nice little ball if Giggs can get on the end of it. But uh, Bosfeldt. Had him well marked out there. Good play by Irwin. Good tackle there. Now Giggs. Hitting it, driving it across that uh, final goal. Beckham. Long range shot maybe. Uh, looked at first as though there was a suspicion of handball on the edge of the box there from Feyenoord. But United weren't complaining. The referee didn't see it. So Cole chasing this one again against Van Hobel. That's a free kick. He was a bit unlucky there that he happened yeah. to be going against Van Hobble, who, who might be their quickest defender. I think I think Andy Cole actually, if he yeah. could just stay and not quite go off the side now and again, I think he's got the I think he's got the beating for pace of the back people. I watched the tape a couple of days ago of the game here against Kozici, who weren't that impressive against Feyenoord, who won 2-0, but actually on the counter-attack, Kozici must have had four or five excellent chances to score. I think if you hit them with a bit of speed and a bit of precision there uh, they could be in trouble yeah well, I think basically they're, play, they're pushing both flank defenders on aren't they Van Hobel and Graf that's right and they're asking uh, Van Hustle to, to sort of sit in he's, in he's a midfield player and asking him to be the spare man as much as possible but I'd like to see United just up the pace a little bit I think it's, they've, they've shown that they can contain now 
now I think is the time really to start asserting themselves. Well, you know, a great believer in certain things, setting you off in football. It may well be that that shot of Sheringham's yes. starts to give them the little bit of desire. There he is pulling on his shoulder again. It's a long ball again. Andy Cole chasing it. He's gone in! Well, Cole will claim it. It may have come off the defender, but it's United in the lead. But I mean, that's a brilliant, I mean, that's a good spot as well there, Owen. He knows that, he knows that Andy Cole's pulling on the shoulder. He's, done that, enough, he's done that enough times through the middle. He's got a little, he was the last touch. Oh, the it's, it's Andy touch. Cole. It's Andy Cole's goal. Yeah, he's dug that one out. But that's the danger, you see. That's not an actual defender in a defensive position there. Probably came off his right knee, actually. Yes. But it was Andy's goal, a great chase, a great ball played by uh, Gary Neville. And the keeper just got a hand to it, he was too far out to do anything more about it. And I will United say this, I think that's brilliant from his point of view for persistence. I think the goalkeeper at the other end of the field would have saved that. And Bronckhurst, Kleist, the Belgian. So they're playing some great possession stuff here, but it, it's in areas where it suits United. United will just say, go on, play across the face of us, we'll just retreat. Early on, Cruz looked as if the, on the ball now looks as if he got a little bit of an eye for picking it up and turning. Here he is again. Turning. And Schmeichel saving well. That's a good effort, that. It's turned well there. And I think it was uh, Gary Neville was a, was a little bit afraid to tackle from the outside, running the risk of penalties. I mean, you have to say a victory here virtually, virtually will assure Manchester United of a place in the quarterfinals next spring because you would certainly expect them to beat Kozici at Old Trafford later this month. It's Beckham. Sheringham to Beckham to Andy Cole. That's number two. Well, that's training ground stuff and it's slick, instant, one-touch passing. I think they'll make a suggestion of offside on Beckham here. The no, he's well on, he's well, well, on, on well on side. Oh, it's fair, it's just faced in. I mean, that is that is incisive, clinical, expert passing from the whole group. Sheringham started it, Beckham carried it on, Andy Cole finished it, and that's 2-0. United fans you can hear now on the effects microphones there's not much coming from the final crowd at the moment and hobble again van hobble bring it in again towards Cruz but Berg did so well there he was supported by Beckham who's now gone up ahead of him the ball hit long again towards Andy Cole. And his third goal in Europe. He got one on the opening day of this campaign against Kozici. He's got two here now in the Arnold Stadium. Andy Cole, two goals for Manchester United. It means things are looking good for Alex Ferguson's men after the first half here in Rotterdam. Final nil, Manchester United two.